Joseph Morello. That wasn't you met on the ferry. No. If anyone was part of it, doing a stream or video, you're free. Yeah, there anything else in here, maybe, actually? Nine two five. Oh, Nice. <laughs> mm, Shit. Get in here! Get in here. <gasps> Thank 
God. What the hell is this? The mirror was two-way. It's totally a little pervert creeper room. Demet is watching us and sneaking around between the walls. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Jesus, what is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psych. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but I mean, it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the light. Chicago police, Mr. Monday, this is Chicago police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Can we use this gear to find a way out? 
Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. No oh, way, no. Um One page left. Seems so. Let me just have another look. And there we go. He's profiling us. the first, are we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some other previous visitors. That's the lobby. We were came we were on before. Mm -hmm. 
Over here. Over here. Look at this. It's Saul's little tricks of moving walls and crap. Mm -hmm. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against them. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of it. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. Okay, here we go. This is the surface eight. What's it? Jamie? I think. Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Right, you say. Was this on the map? Uh, yeah, I. Mm. What do you mean, nervous? No, thing. I'm not never the I saw a square. Um, Oh, wait, there. Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. 
More rooms being built. One of those coin thingies. Whoa. Uh oh. I got a bad feeling about this. for Jamie. Huh. Oh no. Yeah, he's still about. in here. Oh shit. I say one. I'm gonna go one. Uh oh. Jamie! 
no. What is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what does it? Shit, no! Game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I sold the troll. No. Damn it, I'm fucked. What an uh. excruciating way to go. Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate. I know they didn't always see eye to eye, but I didn't think she'd be that cold blooded. Jamie chose not to save Erin when she could, leaving her to die, deprived of oxygen, suffocating to death. Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Perhaps you'd like another? Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. 